It's all about the Community Service Excellent Awards. Now, four individuals and 25 organisations are the 2012 finalists in the WA Community Service Excellence Awards, which recognised their phenomenal achievements in improving the lives of hundreds of thousands of West Australians. We could read on forever. It's a fantastic award. It happens biannually, twice a year. And today we've got the pleasure of welcoming the Minister, I've got to get her title right, the Minister for Child Protection, Community Services, Seniors and Volunteering and Women's Interests and Youth. Please welcome Robin McSweeney. Thank you very much for being on the couch today. Thanks for asking. And right next to you is the guy who's one of the finalists. Now, he's the state manager of the Big Issue magazine, which is that one there that I'm holding right now there you can't see it too close up but he's with us today thank you peter for coming in today jim 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 thank petrie you. sorry that's it <laughs> i've got the name the other way around thank you for coming in we'll talk to You're you welcome. but first thank minister you. mcsweeney you have a background as a social family policy person yes these awards would probably be right up your your alley i would say Oh, look, I just love the Community Service Excellence Awards. We had 105 nominations, 29 finalists from all over Western Australia. Why do, we, why do we have these awards? Why were they very important to establish? They're so important, I think, because Western Australia is such a vast state and there are so many people around the state doing just wonderful things to help other people and they don't ever get a chance to be recognised. So that, that's uh, the main reason that the awards were set up. Robin, how long ago and how long have they been running? They haven't been running very long. Um, this will be the second um, community service awards and we partner with uh, WACOS mm -hmm. and the government, the Lottery West presents them with a, a huge cheque to do that. So how do we get our finalists? What's the procedure of leading up to the finalists? Because I know the 9th of May, I think you announced the winners. Yes. How do we get to that stage up to now? Well, we, we advertise, we um, have a panel that choose the winners and uh, I put people on the panel and WACOS put people on the panel and it, usually um, everyone agrees with uh, the, the finalists and uh, then out of that we, we choose the, the winners. The same panel looks at that and chooses the winners. Looking at the finalists, Robin, what's the background? What sort of background have they come from? Oh, all sorts of community service organisations and there are some people who um, stand out themselves um, Do you want to mention people. some of those great people? Because I know there's so many volunteers and community service organisations. I'm reading through this list. Maybe there's some that stand out? Yes, there are. There was the um, people in the Kimberley that work with the, the SIDS um, Foundation to, to stop babies from dying and they do a wonderful job and uh, they're one of the organisation. And of course, we've got uh, Jim's organisation sitting right, next to, we'll sitting right next to me with the big issue. Just such a wonderful organisation as well. Now, what do the winners get to partake in? Once the, you've got the finalists now, where to from here? You, you, on the 9th of May, do you, do you award one person an award for being the winner? Yes, we have several different categories. Um, on that night, and it's a it's a gala night, of course, and uh, and we recognise the the people in the community services who are doing wonderful things throughout our state, and it gives them such a buzz just to be nominated. But when they actually come on stage and get their award, it's it's really good for them, and and, and they're so humble when they come up. They they say, oh no, it's not for me. Do you think that WA, having lived here most of my life, and I, and I know you've got a background in the country as well. Do you think we have a lot of people that do a lot of community work here that sometimes are not recognised and this would be a fantastic way for getting people nominated and, and promoting those people? Yes, I do. There are so many unrecognised people. We have so many volunteers in Western Australia and people would be surprised but last year we had 288 million hours worth of volunteering and it's worth to the economy about 9.3 billion not to mention what people both sides both parties get out of volunteering. Fantastic. Well let's speak to you Jim because you run the, the, the magazine, I'll, I'll read a bit about the magazine before we introduce Jim. It's called The Big Issue Australia. The Big Issue is one of the world's most successful social enterprise businesses, assisting people who are marginalised to reduce social isolation, participate in community and contribute to their future. The Big Issue can count among its successes that it's also the world's most widely circulated street newspaper. It is estimated that The Big Issue program saves the community $20,000 per vendor 
through reduction in the level of access to social services. Jim, congratulations Thank for you being very one much. of the finalists. Thank when you. you hear all that, does it seem that big for you? Or is this a magazine which you think, oh, we're all pretty humble? Well, it was. I mean, it started uh, like all projects like this from a very small beginning. It started in 1991 in London. Uh, where uh, Anita Roddick mm. saw that it, there was a need for people to alleviate poverty, but she didn't want to go down the traditional method mm. um, of, you know, the soup kitchen blankets type of way. And she said, well, look, why don't we give people a chance to earn their own living by selling something on the streets? And at that stage, she didn't know what it would be. Um, but then she got together with the, uh, the inaugural editor, John Bird, and he said, well, why don't we put together a magazine so that they can sell it every week? Mm. And it's grown from that to around now, the world. You were yeah. telling me this magazine's yeah. national. It goes all it's around national, Australia. Yes. It's printed it's, in Melbourne? Yes, it's published. Uh, we have a, a small uh, editorial team in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. uh, Alan Atwood is the editor. He's a, a Walkley Award-winning journalist who came to us a few years ago and does a great job in putting together the magazine every fortnight. Tell me what else we can see in the magazine. For those people who haven't picked up a magazine sure, lately, sure. tell me what we can expect to read. Okay, the, the magazine is, is a light uh, uh, magazine that you can flick through. You know, we've got arts, we've got uh, theatre, we uh, bring to the attention of the public uh, issues that perhaps are not in conventional magazines. So uh, social issues that are of concern, and particularly in that one there, we're talking about mental health. Um, a very important issue uh, for society. So you've got some society. fantastic people that are working for you to put mm. the stories together. Yes, yes. And you've been doing it for many years now. Uh, the, the great thing that I like is that I remember that people with disabilities or a minority people in the community help you pr promote and sell the magazine as well. Is that still the case? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, our vendors, the people who sell the magazine, all come from disadvantaged backgrounds. And that that's could fantastic. Be. Well, that's the whole purpose of the project. That's, that's the whole reason that we exist. Uh, they sell the magazine for $5 and they keep $2.50 of that as their income. Mm. But not only that, it gives them a, an outlet in life. It's a, it's a way of uh, them being able to, to be into society again, to be reintegrated so that they feel part of society and they feel proud to, to be selling the magazine. So uh, people come to us with uh, disabilities. Uh, they may have even come out of prison, um, long-term unemployed, mental health, etc. So we try to, to turn their lives around by giving them uh, a meaning and a, something that they can do. Yeah. And it's obviously very important, like, for you to be nominated as a finalist, did you ever think you'd have a chance or did you I, think, oh, we'll give it a I go? I had no idea. Did you nominate yourself or no, did someone no else idea. nominate no, you? No, no, I don't. It was, uh, we were nominated by okay. another organisation and, uh, of course, we were delighted just to be nominated and never mind to be a finalist. So, so great. what does becoming a finalist and maybe becoming a winner, how does that sort of tip the icing, I mean, top the icing on the cake. Is that something Look, it's very exciting. It's very exciting. We've, we were talking to a group of the vendors the other day and telling them that we, were, we had achieved that level, that we were our finalists. And, of course, it's really their success. I mean, we put the magazine together, but it's, they are the face of the magazine out on the streets. So they represent us, and it's their success. So Can you great. urge other people the importance <clears throat> out there watching the show? Tell them why it's important to be involved with community-type events and, and things like what you do with the big issue? Yeah, I mean, I think it's really a case of reintegration. It's really a case of uh, so many people who are disadvantaged feel very isolated from society. They feel very, um, and because of that isolation, uh, it really does affect their whole life, uh, their self-worth, their self-esteem, their meaning to life. Uh, it's very difficult for them to, to get a job because they feel you know, so bad about themselves. Mm -hmm. So it's really important, uh, not only in this project, but in other projects, that we give them the confidence and the self-esteem back to get back into mainstream life and, and to lead a, lead a meaningful life again. Fantastic. So Where to here from the big issue? Is there anything oh. major happening? Anything Onwards big? and upwards, <laughs> yes. Just well, getting bigger? We've just had our 400th edition published. That's fantastic. Um, Congratulations. Which is, which is great. Uh, and uh, yes, it's going from strength to strength. As far as Western Australia is concerned, we're... we're got a grant from Lottery West to take it to the rural and the regional centre, so we'll be opening up in Albany. Yep. I was in Albany shortly, uh, recently, and uh, we're already selling in Bunbury and, and uh, Margaret River and Busselton, so we want to take it around the state. And, and I did ask you off air, people all over Australia can get a hold of the magazine. Yes. Where yes. can they get it? If they want to get it today, can they go online maybe and have a look, or can they buy it locally? Well, we have, we have a website, uh, which is www.bigissue.org.au. 
It's on um, so they can have a look at and they can see what the cover is and, and a few of the articles. But really, to buy it and to buy can it. Can you buy it by subscription where you might yes, buy you can. 12? So you yes, can do you can. that. And so pay if, you're, in advance? if you're not in the CBD or if you're not in a place where it, you know that there are, is a vendor, you can buy it by subscription. But in the city, you'll find them on most of the city corners, mm -hmm. um, uh, on the crossover from Meyer to the station, and uh, you'll see the guys in the in their bright yellow vests and red hats and. Uh, I do. They love like safety workers. Yeah, so they love to have a chat. So if you buy the magazine, please have a chat with them. Well that's done, part Jim. Of the Congratulations on being nominated as a finalist. Thank you I very hope much. you win an award. <laughs> and I'm thank sure you. you will. Either way, you've won because I think yeah. you're doing a great job for the community. Thanks, Robin Rob. McSweeney, thank you very much. I, I think the, the Barnett government and, and your government should be congratulated for supporting community awards like this. It's very important that governments get behind uh, organisations like Jim's and others as well. Certainly is. And I'm sure you're going to continue to do that. I certainly am. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for both of you for being on the couch today. If you want more information about what the guys have been talking about, check out our website, thecouch.com.au. We'll have all the links there to the Minister's Office. We'll also have uh, the big issue on there and other information about Wacos and the awards.